You know what I love most about this country? Capitalism. Do you know what capitalism is? Yeah. yeah. It means this is a free market system, which means people get paid for their services depending on how valuable their contributions are. <laughs> The government wants to use No Deal to create a tax haven for the super rich on the shores of Europe and sign a sweetheart trade deal with Donald Trump. Not so much a No Deal Brexit, more a Trump Deal Brexit. Have no doubt No Deal would destroy people's jobs, push up food prices in our shops and open our, our, National Health Service to take over by US private healthcare corporations. I just remind them, our NHS is not for sale. <laughs> the Tory Brexit crisis will be a crossroads for our country. A crossroads for our country. It will be a once in a generation chance for a real change of direction potentially on the scale of 1945. Of 1945. Things cannot go on as they were before. The Conservatives and a very wealthy establishment that they so happily represent have failed our country. They've failed to protect living standards. They've savaged our public services. They've deepened inequality in our society. Look at the incredible levels of wealth a small minority have, and then look at those sleeping on the streets because there's no home for them to go to. That is modern Britain. Inequality, inequality getting worse, and it's failed to keep us safe. Boris Johnson and his Tory cabinet have direct responsibility for the Tory decade of devastating damage to our communities and the very fabric of our society. However the Brexit crisis is resolved, the country faces a very fundamental choice. Labour offers a real change of direction that I believe the country needs. A radical programme, and I'm proud it's a radical programme, to rebuild and transform. <laughs> And that radical programme will rebuild and transform communities and public services to invest in green jobs and high-tech industries of the future. And to take action to tackle inequality and action to tackle the climate crisis that we all face. The Tories have lurched to the hard work. Johnson is Britain's Trump, as the US President himself declared. Fake populism and phony outsiders funded by hedge funds and bankers committed to protecting the vest vested interests of the richest and the elites, whilst at the same time, bizarrely, posing as some kind of anti-establishment movement. People have a choice. As I've said, Labour will raise tax for the richest and make sure they pay their share towards the common good. The Tories will cut tax for the richest. Labour will require the big multinational corporations to actually pay the tax they owe in this country. Tories will cut tax for big corporations. It's Labour that will get more money in your pocket rather than line the pockets of multi-million pairs. We'll introduce a real living wage of £10 an hour, including for young people who deserve equal pay for the equal work and contribution that they make to our society. <laughs> but we do need to go further. The problem with an unfair economy isn't just the imbalance of wealth, it's the imbalance of power. So we'll give working people more power to win better wages and have security at work. So we'll put workers on company boards and give the workforce a 10% stake in large companies, paying a dividend of as much as £500 a year to each employee. And Labour won't tell people they have to work until they're 75. <laughs> we will bring rail, mail, water and the national grid into public ownership. <laughs> 
so that the essential utilities people rely on are run by and for the public, not the shareholders. And we'll give tenants more power and security, including controlling rents so dodgy landlords can't rip them off. The insecurity of living in the private rented sector must be brought to an end. Many people <laughs> suffer terrible stress because they don't know how long they'll be able to remain in the flat or house that they're renting. To end, end the gender pay gap and end the discrimination that too often exists where wages and jobs are concerned. The coming general election will be make or break for our public services. Make or break. When it's Boris Johnson and the Tories who ran our public services into the ground in the first place. The Tory cuts to the police had made people unsafe. But police cuts are not the only reason that violent crime has doubled. What the Tories won't address is the much wider impact of austerity. Think about it. The closed youth services around the country, under-resourced mental health care facilities and the lack of funding for community mentoring. I take these things so seriously that we will make it compulsory for local government to deliver a youth service in the future. <laughs> and we will create a national education service providing free learning from cradle to grave, including free school meals for all primary children, smaller class sizes for five, six and seven year olds, no tuition fees at university or college. We ensured our parliament was the first in the world to declare a climate emergency. I moved that motion on May the 1st to parliament and it was carried unopposed because the Tories didn't dare oppose it. But the declaration is obviously important, that's the first step. But that must be followed by radical and decisive action that can really only be delivered by a Labour government. It certainly won't come from the Tories. The party that scrapped the Swansea Bay tidal lagoon, effectively killed off onshore wind power projects, and is forcing fracking on local communities who oppose it. We have to turn the climate crisis into an opportunity to rebuild industry in this country with a green industrial revolution. And that, and that green industrial revolution will create 400,000 well-paid, high-skilled jobs in renewable energy and green technology, particularly in parts of the country that have never recovered from the decimation of industrial, our industrial base by Thatcher's government. Imagine if the Derbyshire and Yorkshire coal fields that once powered the nation became the new centres for green energy generation. Or if towns that used to build railway locomotives and railway carriages built the next generation of high-speed electric trains. Just imagine how it would feel for those communities to once again be the beating heart of our economy whilst reducing our greenhouse gas emissions and giving our young people a real grasp. <laughs> the future could be fantastic. New technologies have the power to liberate us and help tackle the climate emergency. The technological revolution that's happening around us has been used instead to benefit the wealthy while driving down pay and security for millions of other people. The next Labour government will take on those who really run our country. The bankers, the tax dodgers and the big polluters. So that the real wealth creators, the people of this country, can have the services, jobs and futures that they deserve. Because when Labour wins, we all win. The nurse wins, the pensioner wins, the student wins, the office worker wins, the engineer wins. We all win. The chaos and dislocation of a no-deal Brexit is real, very real and threatening. That's why we will do everything we can to stop it. This is an historic moment with the potential for real change to transform our country if we grasp that 
opportunity. Thank you. Rudolf Jogbo, Tibia Samaya, Nasiyachi, America. Jirna Yeda, Strashni Upadek, Splashnoya Matan. В этих играх надувают? Да. Все по-честному. В том-то и дело, дорогой мой Алексей. А мы так задумали, чтобы казаться честными. Но это все жуничество. Друг. Чтобы вытянуть из тебя деньги в карман богача. Это, дорогой друг, и есть Америка.